AJ here. You see I'm on my Linux box again running the Manharo 0.8.9 edition. I've made some more tweaks to my setup. I've added a, a weather widget. I've changed my background around and I'm really enjoying the the experience of having a rolling release like Manjaro um, rolled in with a stable release um, that, that, that comes with Manjaro um, and I love how everything works right out of the box. Uh, this, this video is going to be the starting of a new series for me. I'm going to teach myself Python and I'm inviting you guys along for the ride. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to follow material set out by C.H. Swaroop. I apologize if I'm pronouncing that incorrectly. He is the author of A Bite of Python and I'll leave a, a link in the description below um, where you can go and download um, A Bite of Python and this is a beginner's guide to using the Python programming language. Why I've decided to jump back into learning Python is my workplace is getting a software that's built on Python and if it's anything like the old software that we're using to crunch numbers and um, import and export data um, there'll be a lot of uh, programming involved um, and extrapolation and interfacing with command prompts and whatnot and from what I've seen in the past Python is is a great language to be able to scrape information out of other documents other places bring it in and, and then extract something that's more usable for um, what you you need to to use the data for so that that's my um, reason for for wanting to learn how to program in Python even if I just scratch the surface and get a better understanding as to what's going on in the background what uh, what you can do uh, the great thing I should say first about Python is it's open source and it's cross-platform so you can run it on Linux which I'm going to here on Manjaro you can run it on Windows which I will be using for work you can run it on Mac OS um, so it, like I said it's cross-platform so you can write code in uh, Python on your Linux box which I have here pull it over to say your work computer and and be able to run that program and be confident that it, it will run now if you want to download Python it's really easy you just have to go to python.org and there's the downloads link and of course you have Windows Mac OS X and other platforms here there's two different versions uh, running right now of Python there's the older 2.7 version and there's the newer 3.3 um, version that's running this book that I'm going to be running by uh, going through bite of Python is running the version 3 of, of uh, Python and so that's what I'll be learning there's also an interpretive um, software that you can get on the website that will allow you to go back and forth between the two different versions most workplaces today are running the 2.7 version um, it's it's just more popular people are, are moving towards 3 and so where I'm just jumping in um, I've decided uh, along with with this book that I'm reading by the Python that I'm going to go with with version 3 also another reason why I'm going with version 3 is version 3 is baked into Manjaro Linux right off the bat so I don't personally have to go and download anything it's already there I could go and download the older version the 2.7 and uh, and get into it that way but you would come here if you're brand new 
Windows, let's say, you would download um, the latest stable release for 3 is 3.3.4 and the latest stable for 2.7 is 2.7.6. There is some release candidates there um, for newer versions coming out. I would probably urge you to download the stable releases and uh, if at a later date when the release candidates become the the stable candidates you can upgrade from there so you could download that run those programs to install it and then what you would do is you would go to your terminal window and as I said I have Python 3 so I type in Python 3 enter and it tells me that I have the 3.3.4 version of Python run, running. This also puts me into the Python interpreter. So I can type code, I can test code in here, in, in this uh, environment right here in my terminal, and it will spit out the output. So we can type a very small program, the inaugural program, if you will, the Hello World program into the ter interpreter and it will automatically give us the results of that small program. So if I type print parentheses quotation marks hello world and get it spelled correctly print enter there it is, hello world. We just written a very rudimentary first, very basic program. And to get out of the interpreter, you just have to type exit, open and close parentheses, and then you're back out. Now, the interpreter is great for testing code, but you wouldn't want to write a whole program in the interpreter. You wouldn't save it and you'd have to retype it every time you'd want to run it. So what you can do is you can use uh, Notepad or, or some other editor to um, run, to write your programs, save them and then run them at a later date. It'll also allow you to uh, go back and amend your code at any time. What Byte of Python um, recommends is Sublime Text. I, I looked at it. You can download it. It's in the AUR uh, for the Arch user repositories to download, but it's an unlicensed version. It's $70 American to, to buy the license. It's, it's a very nice looking program. I like it, um, but there are free free um, programs out there that you can use to write your programs. The one that I like in Windows is Notepad++. It's a very robust um, text editor that will um, color your your code and um, so you first would save it as a, a, a .py which is the extension for Python and then it will colorify, colorify your, your code as you go so it knows the difference between a function and, and, um, and other pieces of, of code. Um, what I am going to use here on Manjaro is a, um, a program called Genie. So what we'll do is I'll reopen my terminal and sudo pacman s genie type in my user password retype in my password do I want to proceed Yes.
Now there's also plugins, so I'm going to grab the, the plugins as well. Okay. Here's Genie, and I'm going to bring it over to my dock because we'll be using it during this series. Oh, I want it down here. We'll open up Genie. Okay, and before we start, we want to save a file. Save as. And we'll put it in our main directory just for ease of use when we go and run it in the terminal. So we'll call this hello.py. Actually we'll make it all lowercase just for simplicity's sake. Save that and we'll type in print hello world and when you run the print print is a function and so with after a function, you have the open and close parentheses and the open and close quotation marks. And then what you want in between will be in there. If you m put a quote and leave one quote off, you'll get a syntax error. So we'll save this again. And we'll open up our terminal. And we'll type python3 hello.py. And there we have the hello world. OK, so this you've just written your first program in Python. And we'll, we'll leave off the video here and I'll pick up on the next lesson and we'll build each each time learning the software learning the language more importantly and how to interact with with uh, both the interpreter and the the editor that we have thank you very much guys if you have any comments or suggestions for this series please leave them down in the comment section below give me a thumbs up and if you haven't already, please subscribe. Thank you very much, and we'll see you next time.